playbook keeps and you don't hang with number shot shot The streets don't turn shit to a cash run on my stop Yo, Dirty, what's poppin'? It's your boy Starter Camp checking in one time for the one time And I am back again with another Dirty Daily Podcast And coming to the stage, coming to the Zoom room is my partner, Cashy Facts Listen, let me tell y'all first of all about Cashy Facts, man He comes from a clan of the Cash Runner Records, alright? From Zone 3 Atlanta you know what I'm saying? And he's representing and he's here with us today. Cash, what up, fool? What up, fool? What's going on? Dirty Daily, man. Cashy Facts. Cash from the Ruckus. Yeah, man. So first and foremost, let us know, you know, I, you know I peep, I've been peeping that you've been you know, moving around the city, doing a lot of different things, getting a lot of things popping. Um, you know, this Cash Runner Monsters record is going crazy in the city. Let me know, you know, a little bit about yourself and, and, and how you got into this business. Hey, that's a good question, because all, uh, like I say, I always had the talent, right? That that how the rap came about. I always had, I'm talking about since young, young, but like fast, you know, I signed a deal last year, around about what, June, May, we signed a deal, cash run the records, and all, um, just started taking off, man, and then like, I was making a lot of good music at that prospering as we were just going up, and then like, we did this A track, we did like, compilation EP, the Cash Monster, so, you know, my CEO was like, we need, uh, we need like a song, a cab on a song, you know, a song that going. So I was just thinking on it and I had to put, I wanted to put cash runners in the song because, you know, that's already money. So it just hit me. I was like, shit, we've been grinding. Like you say, you see, we've been doing big things. So, uh, you know, man, I was like, well, we're a monster for this shit. I just feel like I just turned into a cash monster. Like, yeah. the more, like the more we were doing, the more progress, the more more clout, whatever you want to call it. Right, right. We were getting, and yeah, we got now, just fuel me up. I was like, shit, I just feel like a cash on the monster, so shit, how it came, just hit me. I just put it together. That's a beautiful thing, brother. Now, I mean, like, Zaytoven, though. How did y'all link up with Zay? I mean, it's, it's as hard as it is to even find Zay, you know what I mean? I'm sure I'm sure you follow him on the gram, you can see he's got a lot going on. Mm -hmm. But it's as hard as it is to even find Zay, how did y'all get in the studio with Zay? Because, I mean, Zay is, he's not... He's not just your average producer. He's a super producer. Tell him. <laughs> uh, like I say, man, CEO, <coughs> manager, MLK, DJ okay. MLK, big shout out to him. And all uh, that, I'm just saying, they had a lot to do with it. You know what I'm saying? My managers, my manager, JG, my CEO, Dolph, and DJ, they fought with the most, MLK, they put it together. So, you know, word of mouth, word of mouth. And it just linked up, it just happened. And that thing, you know, we were just in our with him. He walked right through. He was in pet work. He just started cooking them up. We started got down browsing through the catalog. We just got down. Oh. So let me ask you this: How hard is it, right? I mean, you say that your manager helped you get the the, the link up with with Zay. You know what I mean? And 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 MLK, of course, is helping circulating it in the in the city and, and putting it in the putting it in the streets and in the clubs. But how hard is it, right? During this time that we're in with COVID, how hard is it to be an artist during this time? Well. Uh... We trying to like shake out the COVID phase, and cause I ain't gonna care. I'm gonna say this, like, especially in Atlanta right now, it's like, oh, it's like we in the COVID situation, but it kind of like we not, you know what I'm saying? Right. Atlanta, it's Atlanta, Florida, cause we still out here. Everybody still out here or whatever. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna say that. Like, we just doing show right now. Honestly, we could be so probably finna be. You know what I'm saying? We probably finna be back rolling with the show. So it ain't really too hard. It was that first one, cause we weren't going nowhere. Probably like a week. And after that. The breaking rules. <laughs> we want to stand out there curfew. I don't, I don't even think it's hard. No, nah, I, I don't blame you. I mean, at the end of the day, it's like you got to do what you got to do to support your, to support your, you know, your hustle. You know what I'm saying? And I believe that, you know, in the in the city of Atlanta, I can honestly say that it really hasn't closed down. You know what I mean? I feel like Atlanta's been, you know, they they disregarded the fact that COVID exists, but at the same time, people are still out there wearing masks. Wish you should. You know what I mean? Keep your mask no, on, stay masked up. You feel no. what I'm saying? Like, I, I encourage that because at the end of the day, I don't think there is no flaw that there's 200,000 200, plus people that's died from this thing in the, in the country. So I definitely am an advocate of telling people wear that mask and, you know, stay, stay, stay hydrated, wash your hands, take your vitamins and all that good stuff. But now, Cash Runner, Cash Runner Monsters is out. The project is out. Now, like these guys that are on this project, man, like you got a group of guys with you that are, that are like monsters literally on these on these tracks you know what i'm saying like i've been watching a lot of these different guys that you are on tracks with and you know some of them have been standing out you know what i mean so so who is it who's 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 
who's vibe who's vibe in the studio is like is the most like charismatic like who has the most character in the studio when you guys are vibing um, other than yourself, of course. Other than yourself, yeah, I know, I know exactly what you're saying. I'm gonna say, I ain't gonna lie, I'm gonna say my boy Cap. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, he, you know what I mean. He lied with it, so he do that. He stand out you now. You know, everybody doing their thing and you know, bringing the energy more definitely. Yeah, definitely bringing the energy. Now that's real. So I mean, is there any is there any new music that's been cooking up since you guys have dropped this project? Is there anything new? That's gonna be in the uh in the works for the future. We got so much new stuff. Yeah. Videos. We finna um the cam off the video finna drop. So yeah, that's finna drop real soon. Them visuals are so dope. Then we finna shoot the rolling crazy and probably a matter of time from a couple of days to next week. That's me, that's my other song on the Cash Monster. Okay. So uh, we finna shoot that video and um like you said, that's with the Cash Monster though, but as far as new music, and I can tell him about to get the bag, cause I'm, and I had to look at my CEO, man, cause look, <laughs> you know, we kind of strict on the new, new and dropping and dropping, but I'm going to get it to you, man. I'm finna drop some shit called Get the Bag, right? Okay. Um, it's produced by Ed, so who did the four way two? Um, okay. He did the four way two beats for it, and um, we're finna work on that. So I'm finna go in the studio actually tomorrow, and I'm finna record that on my birthday. Bluetooth disconnected. And, um, you know, we had a little in-house and in, uh, in video shoot for it or whatever. In studio, I meant to say studio on, um, you know, session shoot. Yeah, about about a week or two. That that's, gonna be right. I mean, that's good, and that's an exclusive right there. So when this when this get the bag come out, matter yeah. of fact, let me ask you this: mm -hmm. in order to get the bag, right, you yourself mm -hmm. have, have have established with me that you are definitely a cash running monster, right? Yeah. Give these artists that watch our YouTube channel on a regular basis, give these artists some some good financial advice that you need to take heed to when it comes to being in this music industry and when it comes to even just having some money, period. Like, an artist that's got $5,000 in his account right now, what should he do? Is there any advice you could give to that artist? Uh, yeah, most definitely. The first thing I would furthermore say, you got to be in your budget. You know what I'm saying? Budget is the key. So, you know, of course you don't want to spend all your dough. It's like you say, for example, you got 5000 I'm right. advising you. I ain't even going to count, man. For starters, unless you know somebody who's making the beats or like a homeboy or something, you know what I mean? Like, who you can get them things for like a hundred a pop, fit to a pop, or you can go on YouTube and cash out like 300 for the exclusive rights now. Like, we don't did that. We don't went that way too. We yeah. got some hits from YouTube, but we own them. We, we wouldn't got them. Not on, but you know how this shit go. But look, so when I advise that, start out small with the beats. Okay. Like, you got 5,000. Of course, you ain't gonna jump to a Zay if you ain't know nobody who know nobody. DJ right. Friends. You're gonna start out, out down, getting in where you get in where you fit in at. So, you know, budget. That's the, the fact that you even said start from the producer because, see, a lot of people think that you can skip steps. You cannot skip steps. You don't even, you ain't even say nothing about the studio time. You said start with the producer, right? And you yeah. said the most important thing start with your producer, find you a solid producer. If you're not making those beats yourself, go and take care of that producer. You know what I'm saying? We ain't even had to go to the, we not even getting, some of these producers are DJs too, so take heed to that too. But start with the producer. You know what I mean? The most important thing is you start with the producer, pay your producers, man. You know what I mean? Like the producers are the most important thing. You feel my, you see my boy, he icy. You want to be icy like Cassie, bro. I'm telling you, you want to be icy. <laughs> it's kind of small, I got to make some folks. Y'all, that and I'm trying to tell you. Yeah, that's definitely, cause, uh. They, I, yeah, it definitely started with the producer because, like I said, you can get in the studio for free or for the cheap or for the high or for the low, but you got a beat that somebody else got or some a beat that you don't own or a beat that's rapping on and the song could be fire, hot, or whatever. So, yeah, that's why I definitely say start with the producer. Nah, you dropping gems right yeah, there, brother, because you get a beat that's on, that you, you got a beat that somebody else is on and then when you try to release it, they, they, they coming back to sue you or tell you, hey, yo, you can't drop this song because we already did this song and we paid for the beat. And now you gotta look. That's 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 real gem drop drop right there. So um, now I mean I really appreciate you for joining me today, bro. I I definitely feel like we're gonna definitely get some more music for you. Um, and I think that you know this cash running monster thing is just slowly bubbling and then turning into a, a a major monumental thing. And it's definitely gonna be a household name very very soon. So any more exclusive or anybody else that you want to shout out before we get up out of here? You know. The whole team, of course, the whole cash run team. Like I say, all the producers. I'm just gonna say all, all the producers. Uh, 
patchworking them because you know we be there a lot and on um, whatever other studio but we got our own studio so uh you dirty daily yes sir you know what i'm saying for having me and on um, the fans a couple fans we got more on the way let me ask you this. What's 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 it like on Conley Road? Let, 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 tell them about Conley Road, man, because I think I think I've been hearing a lot about Conley Road lately. And it's Conley Road is not Jonesboro. I mean, it's not it's not Cleveland Ave because you can you can say Cleveland Ave. And, and that's where, you know, you got your young thugs and your little kids and 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 people like you and little guy. I've been I've been hearing a lot about Conley Road. Like what's the Conley Road life like? Hey, man, like 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 on. Um... Like Tim Duncan when he won that championship at the Spurs. <laughs> yeah. Cause hey man, that's one of our landmarks just to, um before I tell you what it's like, it called the Spur, right? Mm. The store or whatever. You know, it closed down right now, but it's still up though. They might bring you back or whatever. And uh that's like a little store where everybody used to be at, man. Where everybody was hustling at, where everybody could watch the car at, where you made your dollars at, or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Right. And, um so with that being said, you know, Still over there doing that same, you know what I mean? Minding our business, you know what I mean? Staying out the way, staying sucker free, making hours, getting in. Like I say, getting in the paint, get up out of there, stand up. That's what it like, man. We just got now over there grinding. You hear me? A lot of money flowing around. Your typical hood shit, too. You hear me? The hood, now. All right. You know what I mean? So. I'm already knowing. And then this, so this one's for Conley Road, man. This this interview right here is for Conley Road. So if you're from Conley Road and you're watching this interview, stand up, man. Keep your grind going. You know what I mean? We got Cashy Fest. We got Cash Runner Records in the building. And just like that, we gone. Hey, before we get out of here, let them know how they can follow you, man. Cashy Fest, man. C-A-S-H-Y. Fats, F-A-C-T-S. The one and only. Cashy Fest. It ain't now. I'm not out, though. I'm on Instagram, I'm on YouTube. You can go to Cash Runner Records and then our website. You can read up on it, cashrunnerrecords.com. You're going to be able to get them um, skim through, see all the videos, all the artifacts. You know what I'm saying? They've been, they been decriminalizing marijuana in all these other states. They need to go ahead and decriminalize that shit in Georgia, huh? <laughs> How you feel about that? Yeah, excuse me. So, what do? I'm trying to tell you, man. Hey, man, this is a Dirty Daily exclusive, man. And just like that, we gone. Thank <laughs> you.